Welcome back to Bitsby Trip, and this is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. This is a real quick recap on an hour and a half live stream that I had on the 5700 XT with one goal. Does modding the BIOS change the amount of power that is used on the card? So let's strap in, check this out, and see what the results are. All right, let's get into this. Transition, we're back gonna get into some tuning tonight. My main goal tonight is to capture power usage on the 5700 XT from a stock setting, both from the riser, from the 12 volt rail, and just get a baseline along with the modded card with different settings. We are gonna test some uh, millivolts to the core. We're gonna test different core settings. This is really just a power analysis. We will see hash rates, how much memory settings are. My main thing is to look for that kind of balance not just from the 12 volt rel, but really see what the riser pull is. I've had some folks reach out about concern when they're putting several cards on risers and just trying to calculate how much power is actually coming from the riser versus on the 12 volt rel. So let's get into this. This is the Red Devil. This is the one we touched before. This is the card that we're talking about. So we're gonna be using a few tools tonight. Uh, we're gonna do a quick driver check because this is important. I hate when I go through a whole bunch of stuff and people say it doesn't work and it was because I was on a different driver than you. So right up here, right now I am on version 20.4.2. And we are gonna take a quick baseline look at power. The bone stock just sitting here. This machine is idling around 44 watts. We are looking at, at 10.5. Now that is set to the GPU. So 10.5 watts at idle. And the riser, once it refocuses there, 5.6. And this is just a fresh download of Phoenix Miner, configured to Ethermine, no other special settings. I'm gonna go ahead and write down 50.7 stock. That bone stock is using some juice. Riser power, there's riser power. Woo wee, 71.5. That is a lot of juice, folks coming from a riser. And the GPU is feeding it 130.2. We're gonna change some settings here. So we're gonna take this down to 1200 on P1, and we'll do, let's do 1400 here. We can go a little lower here, but we're gonna start with 1400. And then we're gonna start with 800 here. We're gonna take this down to 700 on P1. We're gonna take this to 1830. We're gonna put this to 1400. So this is the GPU core. We're gonna run at 800 millivolts with 1400 core. Apply. So it's gonna build the DAG file, commit that to memory. You know if you have some bad settings when you're doing this, if it's building the DAG and it stops. It'll sit there and start going through the DAG like it's building and then it won't, you won't get to there where it's generated the DAG. It'll just stop, it'll freeze on the modded. So 52.9 looks like where it's settling on the auto-tune. John Hill dropping the bomb at 1500, taking that number one spot. Wow, look at that. We, we, that's how much we shaved off from 270 down to 179. All right, GPU power, 80 watts. So we went from 130 to 80. The riser power, we went down from 70 down to 43.7. So there's your settings. Well, this is the settings we're gonna try, 1350 on the core. 760 millivolts on the on that core's usage and then we're going to 1860 on the memory apply that and we're going to try to run that so again this is stock this is a stock card stock bios no timings there right now 53.8 it looks like it's tuning out to and we're at gpu temperature 48 c hotspots 55 c memory temperature 78 c vrm Temperatures at 31C. The VRMs is, you could, oh, what's this? Gifting 10 subs, Sean Hill dropping them. Sean, Sean Hill must've got that stimulus. 178, We have so we haven't really increased any power at all on the full system. Riser power, 43.3, which is 0.3 lower than it was when we were at 800 millivolts. 12 volt rel, 70, right at 80. Where we were at 80, we were also at around 80, 81. So 80 flat, 80 watts flat. So bottom line, we did not shave too much at all off that. We're gonna switch it over to the modded BIOS. Mod with no setting changes, just just the, the mod itself and see what we get. 
And again, this has no power tuning, and this is why we're going to do a power tuning. You're going to see why, because it uses a crap ton of power when they're just modded or if they're just stock and you haven't tuned any power on these. Meaning if you're using this for your gaming machine, well, we're gonna let this auto-tune, it'll take it a second to auto-tune. I wanna make sure the point is, and this is really not for the, the veteran miners, you guys know this. This is for the folks that are tuning in that are not really tracking like what's going on. When you're GPU mining, especially if you just like bought a GPU and you're using it for gaming and then you're decided to get into crypto mining and you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna throw this on like nice hash or something, I'm gonna download and make it real simple. I'm not gonna modify any settings. What you're doing is you're using twice the power you need to on something like a 5700 XT. You want to power tune it. It makes absolute sense. If you're not comfortable with BIOS mining, that's fine. You're gonna get close to 50 mega hash if you overclock it a little bit. On the memory side, you're gonna get around 53 mega hash for your 5700 XT but you're gonna use twice the power if you don't power tune it. So it's not worth it. You're gonna run it hot. There's no reason for that either. So if you wanna preserve your card, you want to power tune it. It is an absolute necessity. You need to do it. For the longevity of your card, I highly recommend it. We're at 54.9 mega hash. Full system power usage. We're at 290, 295 watts. This is about 20, about 20 watts more stock clocks against the BIOS. So the stock card with nothing changed was using 270 full system. This is using damn near 300. I saw a 300 blip there for a second. So this is the 12 volt rel on the GPU. GPU riser 75.7. That's riser. That's a lot of power coming off that riser. I would not want these with the old four pin Molex. This would definitely smoke a four pin Molex riser. We applied that. Let's go ahead and run this. We'll let this auto tune. It'll take it a second to auto tune. So we're at 57.2 mega hash on this card. Now we're down to 190 watts full system, down from 290. So again, that 100 watt translation occurred here again, 192 watts. We're at 46.7, 46.7 watts. Sorry for the little natural fade there. 12 volt rel is using 85.7. So that's 131, 132, about 132 watts of power on the card. The question was clock for clock, does a modded 5700 with the same clock, same values put in for your millivolts on your core, core settings being the same, memory being the same, do they use more power? The answer is yes, but not much. It uses about 10 watts more power. So a modded card uses 10 more watts of power. I mean, at least that's what we're observing right now for clock for clock. Now that's 10 watts per card. So if you have a full rig, that's about 80 watts on an eight card rig. Let's try 750 here in this round. All right, we'll do 760 because that's what we did before. Because I want to do clock for clock. And let's do 60 and apply. That way we have the same settings as previous. All right, this has been running for a while on those settings and I have not recorded it. We have not checked power on this, but we are at 57.6. We actually went uh, up only 0.3. So 57.6 mega hash. Full system, 80, 183. So we dropped seven watts, 183 watts. We dropped seven watts there. So 82.5 on the 12 volt rel, 2.5 on the 12 volt rel. That was at 85 on the last one. Sorry for the blurriness. Let's see if we can switch over to the riser. There we go. Riser's at 44.9. Riser, so that is a total of 126, 127, 127 watts versus 132. So we knocked another five watts off. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell when these go live. We're gonna be doing some more testing on Twitch live. Once we get our hands on that RTX 3080, it'll be coming to you first with a long live stream going through a whole bunch of different cryptocurrencies, not just Ethereum. We'll go through the full gamut of currencies that are out there against it. And then of course, it'll be a short recap on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the latest stuff on Twitter and I'll catch you guys on the next one.